you, right? Early for me and you. Bam, Ooh. we're live. Yeah. Uh, 6, Bam. 10 a.m. Uh, listen, assholes. Not you two. <laughs> oh, and good morning to you, too. Yeah. When Bill was in the fire academy doing man shit, I was at my mom's house getting my old Dungeons and Dragons modules and lead figures together to sell them to buy a bag of weed. And it took a lot of fucking therapy to get past that stage. Look at this wad zombie douche nozzle. <laughs> this, is, this is, you think this is funny? That's pretty good. You think it's so funny? good. How fucked up is it? I'm never wearing the same shirt of you ever again. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Nonsense. That's fantastic. <sighs> My wife had to lock all the guns up yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Listen, I knew about Bill. I was hearing rumors it, as, a, as a fucking homeless guy in Santa Barbara that there was this madman 90 miles up the road that was trying to kill his, uh, his team of firefighters in Pismo Beach. And I had, a, I, had a, I had a hippie buddy who didn't like the way our life was going of sex, drugs, and happiness. And so he became a firefighter and started working with Bill and started making up these crazy stories of crazy <laughs> shit Bill makes him do. <laughs> Bill's a dangerous man. I was spreading love, running around naked, selling old, like I said, Dungeons and Dragons modules, sneaking into the basement of my mom's house. I'd been kicked out of five times to get old comic books to sell to buy weed. And you still have the weed. Very, <laughs> and the Dungeons and Dragons face because you couldn't sell anymore. <laughs> very, very sensitive. <laughs> Uh, in a few minutes here, guys, you're going to see Fee Sagafi go against Lindsay Lane. We are watching the Born Primitive there's Seven little... on podcast, Taylor Self versus the world quarterfinals. There's Tyler Watkins in the front. Tyler was able to procure an amazing deal with GoWad. Ooh. $2,500 to the winner. Make sure you open up the Heat One app. Sign up now. Thank you to Mr. Tebow, Thebo, not Hobo. That was me uh, at GoWad. Really cool. Biggest prize Heat One has ever given away, all for our little, uh, um, little, uh, little show. Uh, the next video I'm going to show you, I heard plays really loud. I'm sorry. Uh, Andrew Hiller in the upper right hand corner from Hiller Fit. He is at William Leahy's uh, Sleep training away. camp. Training camp, Boy making cat. sure Will doesn't shit Can't the bed with his submissions this year. How are the submissions going, Mister Hiller? Flawless. Uh, going and, great. Okay, you ready to? You, Bill's not going to get tore up on the internet this year. You're there to protect him. The bad guys. I'm the first one to have actual footage of it. <laughs> awesome. I'm go surfing. And in your lower left hand corner, a commentator who actually does the workouts. Uh, Bill Grundler from CrossFit Inferno, uh, commentator for endless events in the past. Uh, you've done a couple of these. Have you done one of these? Two of these? I've done, I've done one. And, and how was uh, it? Which I did the one that do? they're going to do here. Uh, <laughs> I didn't put it up in the chat, Hiller, but. Oh, you did you, it. You beat Chase by one. Uh huh. Chase beat me by one. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you so fuckers. You, you, you got beat by Chase by yeah. one? Yeah. Dude, Chase did really well, I think. He's a, he? he's a, he's an insane rower. That's why. Uh -huh. Okay. He's an insane rower. And so, I and honestly mine was mine was round one was the warm up. So I didn't have any more I which I normally do it that way. Me anyway. too. That's the way to do so, it. It sucks, but we we fun. will get into this throughout the day. This is the row workout, correct? Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. we will get into this throughout the day, but there are some very interesting things going around. Um there are people who are doing like two snatches and then just rowing their ass off and then uh just doing step ups like it's like just walk in the park and they are getting scores comparable to people who are uh working their ass off so we know that this one uh there is a going to be a lot of gamesmanship in it and it's going to be interesting to see if if at this level you can do gamesmanship and we'll get the uh, opinion from the experts in a second lower right hand corner you are seeing a roaming camera inside the venue which is uh crossfit crash uh home of jr howells crash crucible and crash crescendo the crescendo happens next week these are two of the premier events in the crossfit space also excited to see i'm sure all of you felt movements uh south of your belly button seeing will branstetter is in the house now 
with uh, Mr. Matt Souza. Matt did an amazing job yesterday. That was the first time he'd ever set anything up just to show you how easy this is. Not that Matt's a chump, but the technology is is there, man. The technology is there for uh, for anyone and everyone to uh, to get some. Uh, and and before people start uh, asking us to do stream their events, uh, we do our own events, and this is a special event. It's a special event uh, because everyone involved has been involved. There's there's no um, there's no outsiders. If you're watching this show, you're an insider. No uh, new friends. No new friends. Thank you. Yeah, this is um, very exclusive. Yeah, when it, it's a very I don't know if it's exclusive, but all of you have been around from Colton Mertens to uh, Adam Blakesley. It's uh, it's just really cool. This is working because uh, we've all we've all been around and, and this all came together because of all of us, because of the viewers, because of just the, the friendships. Like I said, I've known Bill since I was selling lead figures. Uh, the support John Young has given this podcast endlessly, uh, stuff like that. So uh, the friendship I've cultivated with Andrew Hiller, it's just it's just all good. Issa Goffey, everyone, Matt Torres. So I just love it. Uh, on top of that, the winner of the uh, Fisa Goffey versus uh, Lindsay Lane will get a thousand dollars from the Glinton podcast. Also uh, part of the family, uh, Garrett Glinton and Colleen have a podcast called the Glinton Podcast. They are also the host of this podcast. When I am uh, out of, out of, I don't know what you call it. What the corporate people call it out of pocket. Basically, that means I'm at a tennis tournament uh, with my. With my kids. Also, California peptides, CA peptides, giving five thousand dollars, five thousand dollars for first place. Uh, if you go to CA peptides, use code word Hiller or Sevon to get some sort of uh, discount. The information and content provided here are general information over phone and are not intended as or to be considered substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Views and opinions expressed do not reflect those of medical professionals or medical Duh. This is called Milano Tan 2. It's supposed to accelerate tanning and it's also supposed to increase sexual arousal. And I think that the second one is actually more of a side effect than it is the main goal. Everybody wants to know how to reconstitute these things. Remember the first thing is that you need the bacteriostatic water. The second thing that you need to do is you are constantly using these alcohol swabs. Now here's the thing, you got two separate needles. Never reuse the same needle. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put two milliliters of water into there. It's just sucking the water in there. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's how you know that the peptides are good. Now, I'm insane, so I like to re-sterilize the top of it. I just put the pad on there and I just twist it. And I'm just gonna go right here, right next to my belly button. So I pull this out, put the tip in. Yeah, just the tip. There's no air bubbles in there, so you give it a flick, the bubbles rise to the top. Pull this out, and then I just stick it in my stomach right there. Very slight little pinch. It's like the world's smallest bee. It doesn't even matter. I'm done, just like that. Uh, Trish, I like how this is the most media collective in CrossFit, but everyone in the space refuses to acknowledge the fact because it doesn't fit their little narrative. I'll be quiet now. Please don't be quiet. Uh, and, 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 and diverse. Uh, John Young is, is, is uh, strategic. Uh, John Young from JY Barbell in the house. The bedrock, the cornerstone of the Seven Podcast, all things games. Also, the proud husband. The proud, proud husband. Oh, God, where is it? Of the woman who makes the Colton Mertens uh, replicas. This is actually a replica of Colton Mertens. Uh, crocheted. Oh, uh, we just heard Matt Sousa fart. Um, uh, that is made by John Young's wife. You can purchase them. Let's look at this off the top of my head. Mustard, se mustard seed crochet. Mustard seed crochet. The name is Leslie Young. Uh, and she is the only person in the world who is actually nicer than John Young. Heidi Kroom, I ordered my pig. She told me that this morning, Heidi. That's crazy. We're going to see if she can do a Captain America, a Wolverine, and then a Batman for uh, for Hill. Oh, dude. That yeah. Would be yeah. Amazing. Sick with that, dude, dude I, she said it's going to take her a little bit, but she thinks she can make a, like, a little bit <laughs> of everything. One of those? How long does it take her to make one? So a pig, this, this takes about an hour um, to do like a, a shield. Um, like a captain, like because it's different yarn, you gotta no, with it's everything. Bad. Um, it's probably gonna take her maybe three hours to make make uh the Wolverine and the Batman and the Captain America. I can't even imagine what she would even need to put together to do that. Mustard Seed Crochet Co. You need two sticks and a ball of yarn, uh, and you need to be from the Midwest. Uh, they make them different there. Here's the Instagram. Account. We are from Missouri. <laughs> Mustard Seed Crochet Co. And uh, you just you go here and you and you message Leslie and uh, 
and she hooks it up. And there you go. And I heard some I heard some weird stat yesterday, like 40% of American adults sleep with a stuffed animal. God, I hope that's not true. But if it is, business will be feel left business, out. I sleep with my dog. Business will be, but that's different. Yeah, but my yeah, dog, my dog died, and I taxidermied it, and that's what I sleep with. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, wow, right. that was dark, John. I'm just um, kidding. I'm can just you guys? Kidding. That's almost Don't as run. bad as my cousin with her frozen animals. Uh, can you guys hear the background noise to this at all? Nope. No. Okay. No, but we can see the beautiful and powerful Fisa Gaffi. Yeah, she's warming up. We sure can. Uh, already bought mine. Awesome. I love hearing it. Now, listen, you guys know this. I know this. We can't reiterate it enough. Born Primitive has made this happen. They got the athletes out there. They got the hotel, the ho hotels and the hotels and the motels. They got the airfare. They got the prize monies. Uh, they have been absolutely amazing. Fortunately for us, we absolutely love their product. Uh, we reached out to them because we wanted to be uh, we wanted to be friends with them. We wanted it to be easy to uh, blow up our sponsors, and uh, they also got behind um, the man who has less than ten thousand Instagram followers. I think Taylor Self, uh, believing in the the in him because his values align with them, and because he just kicks ass. He's got heart, and so I can't thank those guys enough. Uh, Taylor has a little. I don't see Taylor spiel. Oh, here it is. Okay, and here's Taylor on the uh, Savage Ones. I've been using the Born Primitive Savage One for a few months now, and it's now the only shoe that I wear. From rope climbs to Olympic weightlifting, I'm able to use this shoe in all of my training, coaching classes all day. Over the course of the past few months, it's been virtually indestructible. And after doing 30 foot rope climbs, I can't get the shoes to tear or the shoelaces to come untied. The Savage One has a super wide toe box, which is really comfortable for me. It's important to mention that Born Primitive is an American veteran owned and operated company who continues to stand behind and support our American service men and women. Don't forget, the Savage One is now back in stock. You can get $20 off using the code SAVAGE20 at bornprimitive.com. The only one stopping you is you. Use the code SAVAGE20, S-A-V-A-G-E-2-0 to get discount at the site. They have an amazing site. They have tons of great gear. Also, a plug, uh, J.R. Howell owns eight pair of their joggers. I own four pair of their joggers. I'm uh, wearing their joggers right now. They're great. Andrew Hiller's wearing, excuse me, a pair of their joggers. Yeah. Uh, what you're about to see is Lindsay Lango against Fisa Gaffey. The workout they are going to do, let me see if I can pull that up. Um, hey, dude, I just want to say the other day after you play the commercial during that, that roll screen with all the shoes on it, you go, I am a barefoot man. And as a barefoot man, when I put on shoes, I wear the Savage Ones. And it was just like the most fantastic voiceover. <laughs> wow. Wow. I am a barefoot man. But when I'm not, I choose to wear Savage Ones. Wow. And you don't hand out compliments easy. That's it, fucking, it, it, that's it really was nice. great. I go, they need to clip that. <laughs> that that's really, thank you. Okay, how do I go to the workouts? I'm on the uh, games leaderboard. Um, Jesus Christ. Someone help me. Here, hold on. Let me. Uh, someone tell me what, what to do here. Trish. I go, I go to. Season. I go to where? Leaderboard? Right. Workouts. Well, I think you got to go to game. No, you got go to go to quarterfinals. Season. Yeah. Because you're in the, you're in the games workout. There you go. Okay. And then, oh, okay. okay. Um, Look at you guys. And then, competitions? I think it's game season. Yeah, yeah, yeah games, you're right. You're game right. Game season, season, game, game season. season, game season, and then quarter go down finals. to quarterfinals, and then go to workouts. workouts. There you go. Thank you. And what workout is this that they're doing? One. 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 Oh shit, that's easy. And by the way, the number we've agreed upon is two seventy. It's not three hundred. Anybody in the world? I realize three hundred. You have is a tattoo region. on your arm somewhere that says three hundred. It. It's, it. it's reaching. It's no reaching one. a little bit. It's getting two fifty five uh, zero. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, the workout uh, that you will see, Fisa Goffey, Lindsay Lane. Lindsay Lane is the winner of the Crash Crucible last year. That is no easy task. Fisa Goffey, 32nd fittest woman in the world. A uh, brute athlete under Matt Torres out there in Jackson, 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 something, Florida. Okay, here's the workout. Four rounds for max reps. One minute of snatches. One minute of rowing for calories. One minute of dumbbell box step-ups. 
four rounds of that, a uh, one minute rest in between each of those. And then it's your total reps. Just so you guys know, uh, the snatches for those of you who don't know is just taking the bar off the ground and getting over your head. Rowing is there's a concept two rower and you sit on it and you pull this handle with a little chain on it. And the dumbbell box step ups, or you pick up two dumbbells, you hold them in your hands and you step up on, up onto a box. You have to step up all the way. Your hip has to open and then you step down and that's one rep. Uh, we did see the great uh, Alex Gazan sort of do this and take it into the way, 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 way red zone. Uh, is that, John, is that how it's going to be for everyone? This is going to be, everyone lies down after this one. Even the great Miko Salo goes down after this one. Yeah. I mean, I think you, you, you somewhat pace yourself. You're still going pretty, pretty darn hard. But then that last interval, like you're basically emptying everything in the last two minutes. And I mean, it's, that's, for everyone so yeah i think this is a pain cave workout through and through the cool thing about it is it's so high intensity compared to some of the ones that that, that we've done i mean you really only work i mean if you if you fill all three minutes you have three minute a three minute sprint and it's rare i mean unless you're doing like fran that you get a an all-out three minute sprint you know what i mean so mm -hmm. um the games part I, I mean the the top athletes there's not a lot of gaming you you have to go if you're if you're not one of the high-end athletes they're gaming it no huh you don't think you don't think there's any gaming if you're a high-end athlete there is to the point of like okay where am i going to squeeze a couple extra calories out of yeah to what extent it's, to what extent it's like a cup i'm gonna i'm gonna save a couple seconds on the snatch so that i can make sure that i can maximize whatever whichever the minutes that i'm gonna get the most reps out of which is gonna be the row yeah, I think you have to play your own fatigue, though. I, I personally I mean, think, gaming, I, I don't yes, but I'm talking, I'm talking, it's like you still got to push. Like for someone like me or Hiller, you did this. How many snatches were you getting? Uh, Averaging 11. Okay. And how many, well, how, my, what were you getting on the row? Averaging 22. Ooh, I'm a little okay. bit. Okay. And then what were your steps? Well, the thing is, it's different for me. Are we talking about the women in particular right now? Because that barbell is lighter and they're not going to be able to pull on the row or the way the men can. So I think that they might be kind of crushing that barbell a little bit. Yeah, but the, I, I yeah, agree. They, won't, they still won't be able to get the. They won't get the same amount. They'll get more on snatches than the men will. Yes, but it's a different, well, a a different be, workout though. Barbell, is what harder. Hiller is saying. Right. Well, the, but the game is still the same. You got to play to the minute that you're going to get the most reps. Yeah or no? Yeah, I think the step ups are underrated. I think people can I get agree with that too. Reps, a lot of reps on the step ups if they push the pace. That one that Alex Kazan, the clip that they had on Instagram, she hit 21. On her last on her last on her last one. Yeah. Did they play the whole minute. Uh it was just the final, just the finish. I could just but you see. hear you hear Kotler say 21. In the most superficial sense that I can say, Alex Kazan looked absolutely perfect. She, she looked, was flying, dude. Moving so like fast. Freak. And, and her freak. yeah, her I physique. think she got 271. She's she's uh she's special. Caleb Beaver's in the house. You guys can't <laughs> see him, but I can. There and I go. can't tell hey, you Hiller. how happy I am. How Hiller, fucking you happy. You want to make a I bet? Am. Sure, I do. Always. I will since you say 255, I'll bet you a 10 mile run that somebody gets over 255. Somebody? Yeah. All right, what happens if you if if I win? Then I will go run 10 miles immediately. And I got to go run 10 miles the other way? Yeah. On Tuesday. You got to run 10 miles on Tuesday. Because that'll be the day after the quarterfinals. Oh, sure. Skycam right. brought to hey. you by Born Primitive. Done. Use code SAVAGE20 <laughs> for yours off. And remember, guys, they don't just sell shoes. If you've already bought a pair of shoes, go grab a pair of joggers. Grab a t-shirt. Grab a poncho. Grab a hat. Buy one for a friend. Don't be cheap. That's God speaking. To John, you, you do know that you started at 300, talked down to 270, and now we're at my 255. No, I stand by the best score in the world will be 270. But you say, you say you're very confident in 255. So that's why I'm making that bet with you at 255. Do you see right, how I'll, narrow that grip is? I realize I'm snatch? against the wall on 270, and it was probably just a bad call. I realize I'm probably just wrong. 10, but, 10, miles, 10 miles it is at 250. Okay, let me just say one thing about the bet and then it's over. You can't take your dog with you and then use your dog as an excuse when it starts walking. Hey, uh, <laughs> is there really, will there be any gaming in this or is this for these people? Do you just have to get as many reps as you can on each? Uh, Not gaming, a strategy. You got a strategy. You got to play to you whatever your strengths are on this. So gaming insinuates that you're taking it easy. You're taking the easy route. Strategy is you're working as hard as you can, but also still focused on points. Gaming is Pat Barber. Okay. And, and you're, and you you're talking not, about what he did. At, you're talking about what he did yeah, when you're at the, did, games the games where he didn't do one of the events to win. Wildly the next different event. because you okay. will not get a top score if you try to game it 
at all. Gaming, but I will say for Game regular, is trying to hold on. Strategy of how you get your best. Gaming Guys, listen. Not, not the be worst idea. We're 30 seconds away from starting. I want to tell you one more thing. 40% off right now, only while we're live at Paper Street Coffee. Only while we're live. 40% off at Paper Street Coffee. <laughs> Brian, uh, Brian Friend will video. also be jumping in this workout with the ladies uh, just so we uh, have a, a third person. The clock is up. That means something special is about to happen. Uh, I don't recommend you drink rain. If you're going to drink anything, drink spade. The, the, uh, rain is not a, uh, a authorized drink of the uh, seven podcast. Uh, Matt Torres looks like he is fucking with Fisa Goffey's rower. Right there, I. Oh no, he. That's her coach. Okay, May, I was. I thought maybe he was. He was sabotaging it. What was going on there? Uh, Lindsey Lane is in the uh, turquoise shorts. Hey, Will. Oh, Will Brandstetter's on a ladder up high. Damn, we got some angles, people. We got some angles. Hey, those are all three fantastic shots. That is Jr. Howell in the foreground, green shorts, blue shirt. Uh, he is the owner of uh, CrossFit Crash. He has given us his gym. Uh, today we will have the girls will go and then afterwards the boys will go and that will be the end for today and then we will finish saturday also you will see people walking around with iphones because this video will not be used for submission purposes because it doesn't get the details they need it is going to be interesting um how are they going to do that uh andrew uh, with the rower you got to have an iphone there showing every time you get off the rower you you are allowed to move it, but generally they're going to get it in a position where you can see the calories as they're rowing, and the rollover doesn't count. So that was an interesting thing where you're allowed to move it, but nobody would really move it until the rest minute. But at that point, there would already be a rollover calorie. So I'd assume they're you're allowed to move what the the camera, the camera. Yeah, it says explicitly that you're allowed to move the camera, but if you move the camera, we're about two minutes out. Miss the Thank step you. ups. So and you could see where you could see everything. Look at and you can see Lindsay Lane's husband shooting the ends of the barbell to show the weight. But the thing is, is once you push record, I'm guessing you can't hit stop because Correct. you right. could just you and could edit. just swipe out the bar at that point. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird, right? Because like right now, someone could swipe out their bar if they wanted to cheat while he pulled the camera away. I actually think I just did see someone swipe out a bar. Uh, just in here. Yeah, yeah, like that's the. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in trouble. They're giving me a mic. I'm the on floor commentator. Tyler Here's Watkins. The <laughs> if you have not gone to do to the that is Tyler's voice you hear. Tyler is the founder of the Heat One app. Heat One is giving away twenty five hundred dollars. If you haven't downloaded the Heat One app, make sure you do that now. Uh, you can see the implements. You see the rowers. Uh, you see the backup rowers in case a rower goes down is what I'm guessing that is. Is that what that is, John Young? Backup rowers? Yes, sir. Is that important? I, if the rower were to fail, then yes, it's very important. If the rower doesn't fail, then no, it's not important. Don't That's you just start happen. the workout over again? Don't you just be like, fuck it. I'm trying to three hell rounds no. in. <laughs> hell no. All right. Uh, and then you see the boxes. Those are 20 inch boxes with the dumbbells. Uh, you see someone on the right there. You see some flippers. Are those flippers? Those pink things? Flippers. And then over there, uh, behind the line, and that line that the bar's behind is that you you have to have the bar a certain distance away from the rowers. That was is that what's going on? I feet. Five feet. All right. Uh, any chance uh, um, that uh, Fee does not make it to semifinals this year? Only forty people are going instead of the usual sixty. No, Fee will be fine. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. All right. Uh, Born Primitive quarterfinal workout. $1,000 on the line from the Glinton podcast. Lindsay Lane has to win this. Also, uh, someone else has reached out to me and said that they want to give $500 for second place. Very cool. Yeah. Both the ladies are getting ready to go here. I was talking with Fee earlier, and she was saying she feels pretty good. Um, same with Lindsay. Both of them aren't too taxed from the workouts prior. Uh, and they're pretty fired up this morning. 
JR's got some um, counters here. I don't know if you guys could see them from the angle yep. you're at, uh, yep. but that'll help us kind of see the uh, rep count. So he'll be adjusting those during the minute. So we'll be doing the best that we can to let you guys know kind of what the reps are and where they're at here. Um, we got some dope angles, as you can see, and then we'll have a floater mic. Uh, Tyler Watkins will also be paying attention and giving some feedback um, with what's happening on the floor as well. Um, so not so much for the ladies, uh, Souza, but for the boys, will we have someone also um, who's yelling out where the boys are on the rower? Yes. Yeah. So between what we'll probably do is uh, it'll either be JR will uh, MC it a little bit. I might, we might get Bryce in the camera, but we'll, we'll be able to give you guys some feedback, especially when we got four guys on there because we realize it'll be a little bit tough to follow it along, but we'll do the best to let you know where they are. And what about what's the what's the mood there? And have you seen any of the boys show up yet? Uh, yeah, one just walked through the door. Court Mertens just walked in right now. He looks good, focused as always. Taylor Self got here a little bit earlier as well. He said he was uh he was feeling good. All of them look good. They don't look too beat up from this at all. Um, but they're just pretty relaxed as they come in. It's funny that the jokes and everything go, and then about fifteen minutes out, you see that just completely go away. They all separate out to their own corners, and uh, the tension just becomes real. The ladies, on the other hand pretty much stay mellow the whole entire time i would say um uh, susan when i was talking to taylor yesterday after the event he at uh, the event that he won the muscle up workout um he mentioned that he learned a lot by getting there early and watching fee go he said that that was the most important part to like sort of his victory oh. he was he was saying that that was huge for him yeah and it's kind of funny too the um they they even watch all the because there's quite a few athletes doing the quarterfinals here uh, this week. And so all of them will be watching even if the other people go and taking notes and uh, yeah, all the guys will come in. Actually, uh, Taylor's walking by with a lawn chair right now, getting ready to set up to watch <laughs> these ladies go as we speak. Oh, no shit. With lawn chair. So Susan, there's people in the gym right now working out like regular Joe's. Oh yeah. Not only is uh JR still running classes, 8 a.m. class just a little bit ago, but uh, um, yeah, it's a bunch of other people doing quarterfinal workouts and everything else. Looks like we're getting ready to go here right now. Both the ladies got their backs turned to the barbell. JR's on the mic. Gentlemen, we ready? Hold on. Where's Will? Where's this aerial Will? view is so clutch. Yeah, this aerial view is amazing. Ready? Let's not forget the clock. Oh, yep, can you go Instagram live too, Sousa? Uh, yes. You're this awesome. View brought to you by Ariel Lowen. Yeah, uh, Elise uh, is JR superhero. Uh, yes, Leslie will also be making a JR. Uh, uh, mustard seed crochet will also be making a JR, um, I don't know, furry. Okay, it looks like we're getting ready to go here, guys. E everyone Ten can seconds. get a JR furry. Ten seconds. Lindsay Lane on the right in her home gym. Fisa Gaffey, one of the best to do it on the left. Matt Torres on one knee, counting for fee. Oh, singles, John. Do you see that coming? Yes, Hiller. <laughs> uh, what's the weight on the bar? 85. 85. I tell you what, though. They are moving so much faster than I will be moving on these snatches. I like this angle, too. Yeah. Especially for the, for the snatches, snatch for shot. sure. Yeah. That's Were you a little slower right than there. this, Hiller? I was certainly slower than this. What's Check the weight the boys use? 135. 135. I would say the, the men in general. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much time she set. This was what I was oh, talking wow. about. Oh, wow. A so lot of time. yourself 20 seconds of rest each time. So she went 12 snatches right there. And that, that gives you a minute and almost a minute and a half of rest time, two and a half minutes of work time. Yeah, I agree with Bill. I think that's the smart call. So what uh, Bill's know. referencing people is uh, she had one minute to do snatches for Sagafi, and instead she only used 45 seconds. And 30. Then used yeah, 30 no seconds. Yeah, 30 wow. seconds. Wow. Oh, 38 seconds. Okay, She's fine. She she didn't use the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's a good, good call. And she went over to the rower and, and got situated, probably to get her breath back. I'm guessing that's the primary reason. No, to get to be seated on the rower because Ready she to wants rock. to maximize the entire minute of the row. So you want to be sitting in the seat so that you can immediately start your pull at zero, not like a transition. I wish I knew two. what they were pulling at. I know. Is there is there a roaming camera? Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Or so just a roaming lock. voice. Or just like. a roaming voice. Or a voice. That yeah, Tyler, lock. tell us what they're rowing at. He's right there. I see him. He's looking right at the screen. I got you guys. What's the point uh, of having? He's Tyler at thirteen fifty right now, rowing at a thirteen fifty Lindsay's pulling eleven hundred, and she's at about fifteen calories right now. Okay. 
Okay, you. and it looks like Fee's pulling harder. Finished at 60. He's at 21 calories. Oh, dude, Lindsay so, also got off wow. the lower Yeah, Lindsay hour. got off for the – and I actually – I think if you're going to step up fast, I don't think that's the wrong call to have a set number of cows that you're going to have. And then if you get there early, you get up. Okay. So different, different strategy from going from snatch to rower, as opposed to rower to box jump. Why, why does fee run the clock all the way down on the rower? Because the, because the points score faster on the rower. You're going to get more cows in the rower. So that's the thought process. But if somebody beats you by three step ups, it evens out. Oh, and that's what I'm wondering if Lindsay figures she's going to be able to do more step ups. Because look at the tempo that she's got. She's at 14 already on the step ups, 15 on the step ups there for, for Lindsay. So she's actually stepping a lot faster than Fee is. So that's what they're trying to switch. Fee's trying to get her calories on the row. Wow. Hang I'm on. Surprised on. She didn't take that to the minute, though. Totally. I know. Totally. She could have got another two steps in there. That was a mistake. I, I think you take the step ups all the way to the end, end. especially That's if you have a 21 one step ups for fee, 21 gonna... step ups for fee on that round. And what Lindsay have? seems. And then I'll get Lindsay's right now. for you. Hey, there's no reason for that. That's just an error right there because they're going into a one minute rest. So there's right. no reason ever yeah. to stop the box. Step, step ups, ups early. for uh, someone gave her bad step intel. ups for Lindsay. So she clock? missed out on like well, three steps. So that was four reps difference between the two ladies. You could see her pause on the box and look at her coach or her husband or whoever that is. I, they they seem to have this planned out pretty, pretty precisely. Well, yeah, there is, is a big husband. drop Still, from round one to round three and four too. I mean, you want to have a pace to start. You don't want to kill yourself so that you have nothing on the next three rounds. So you have to have something that you're moving, but you're still composed enough to have a strong forty-five two, three, total reps rounds. for Lindsay, and we have a, uh, I think, fifty. Really, fifty. Sorry, JR is getting. We got fifty-five. 50. Should be fifty-five. Yeah, I for think it's correct. No fifty-four, way. fifty-four reps for uh, B. Okay, damn. And forty-five for Lindsay on that first round. Ladies now, and gentlemen, you are watching the Born Primitive Quarter Finals Workout. Uh, Taylor Self versus the World at CrossFit Crash. The workout is snatches, row for calories, and step ups with a one minute rest. Four rounds. They are in their second round. So if the game plan is 17 step ups for Lindsay and like that's what they were that's what their game plan is. Do you, I think it would be smarter to do 10 really fast and then put the dumbbells down and rest 10 seconds and then do 7 at the at the top of the minute. Does that make sense? Not to me. You got to move fast to be able I mean, to have a 10 no, second rest in the middle there. I got you, yeah, John. I get it. Well, get then it. then a 7 second rest, whatever. You time that out to where you finish that 7 at the top of the minute. That way you're not holding the dumbbells for right. 17 straight. You're saving 11 grip. snatches for P. 11 snatches for P on that last set. That's one less than she got the first time. 12 was her first round. Got that. Molo, please, $9, uh, $10. Thank you for all the money, guys. We really appreciate it. The The donations go far. The Sevon Podcast is the GOAT of CF Media. Amazing coverage. Did quarterfinals two this morning. And with one minute ago, had 20-something BJs. I got 20 BJs. And left all <laughs> I thought about was what would Taylor do. I went dark and finished with five seconds to spare. Awesome. Thank you. Lindsay's running at 11.50 pace. And she got 12 snatches on that set. And Fee is still holding strong over 1,300 cows per hour. So I, I think like the top athletes won't have time to do that. But if you know you're going to stop at 17 no matter what, I just think it's going to tax you more to do 17 in a row than do 10, a quick rest, and then seven. Facial expressions well, on both these ladies look very 11. composed right now. And uh, they look relaxed as they're switching over. Lindsay was quickest to the box on that one, more aggressive. What if she also the number she wants on the rower too. Lindsay finished the 17 calories. Lindsay? Lindsay so she's just trying to go 12, calories. 17, 17. B was at 21 again. Dang. 21 is moving. Dude, for... so that's pulling so hard for her. Luis Lemos, the guy who gave $499 to John Young for his burpee challenge. Thank you, Luis. Appreciate it. 50 bucks. Thank you. Yeah, what are Luis the dampers at? Guy. Shannon wants to know. I bet they're at six. Can you tell us where the damper is, guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where it's at or Hold what on, it John. does? What it, no, what it is. Like, what number oh. is it on? Oh, oh, my bad. I, I bet it's at like six, five. 
Wow, every time. Yeah, very calculated. I heard her husband say, one more, go ahead and set it on down. So they ha clearly have a game plan coming into it. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. The entire world is in disagreement with Lindsay and her husband right now. <laughs> <laughs> Their dampers are both at around a five. Okay. Good call, good call Hiller. I think uh, I'm going to put like mine it was on 20 seven. step ups again for B on that set. Yeah, 20 That's step ups 52. again for her. That's 52. So we got 90, we got 93 total for Lindsay right now. 106. The ladies are about to start the second half of the workout. Two rounds down, two to go. Maybe they're going to pick it up. And she was uh, 20 step ups on that set. Lindsay yeah. was 20 step ups on that set. So actually the same number of step ups. But if you noticed, Lindsay aggressively got to the box and started moving before feet. So even though she's stopping a tad early, they're getting the same amount of reps. But Lindsay could get two more. It could get two more in over eight rounds or over four rounds. That's eight reps. Those are yeah. going to be expensive reps too. Like if you're just leaving reps on the table like that. Hey, maybe if you completely be implode. a very aggressive on the snatches true, and Lindsay true. a little bit slower on this set. Of it doesn't snatches. matter. Lindsay's not against fee. Well, maybe she, maybe the whole world implodes and Lindsay's. <laughs> <play>. <laughs> so there, take that. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think that they will. I'm shocked that Fee is holding this 1,300, though. Like, good for her. I think that was nine reps. Nine or ten. Francisco Moreno, thank you. Chris Biesterfeld, thank you. I do think the different strategies are really interesting. So Man, do you he... think Fee's getting more tired, and that's why she stopped it two reps earlier? I, I think that if, if she was to push really hard for the next – 20 seconds in the snatch she'd get another four reps five reps but she would be smoked i mean she's holding a 21 on the row but she i mean the goal is to there. keep that 21 so just let the snatches happen whatever you need the snatches to happen to keep yep. that 21 yeah i will say fee's face is a little bit like more tired than lindy's but she's also Ahead of her. Fee has gotten one snatch less each round. She was 12 on the first, 11 on the second. 11, that 10. was 10. And Lindsay has gone 12, 11, 12 on the snatches. Uh, again, Fee still holding strong at that 1350 pace on the rower. She's at uh, 14 calories in right now. The girls are finishing up their uh, third round or they're in the middle of the third round. Thank you, Catherine Newell. Uh, Laura, uh, work all the way till the end with the step ups. Duh. <laughs> Was Lindsay at about a 1080 to 1100 pace on the row. Now watch this transition. She's a little aggressive here, and she's one rep in on fee, two reps in on fee. Oh, I don't think that chalking was necessary. Three reps in on fee. So pay attention to that as she moves quicker at the beginning rather than fee taking the break towards What's the What's uh, the point of the fast point. transition if you're just going to stop five seconds early every time? That's a good point, John. Right. Well, we'll ask her coach after this, John. I'll let him know. Yeah, we're gonna you have guys to are awful them. critical for some non pros. <laughs> uh, Kevin Doyle, loving the coverage oh, yeah. lads. Any Ooh. chance of getting my Irish brother peed on? Sure, who would we kick off, buddy? You just tell me who okay, to kick off. Okay, that was the first fumble there by Lindsay. She set him down, uh, partially through that minute and just definitely has slowed her pace quite a bit. It's a break, another well, break. Looks oh, like she's shaking man. out the good. Oh, you see what I'm saying? If you don't this, hold on to 17 and you just broke it up 10 7, your grip would be saved. And then you take it to the top of the minute. I think I think that this is from the snatch. It's a lot of pulling all the way through the minute, then on the row, or then on the dumbbells. There's a lot of grip in this one that a lot of people just I don't think they think about. Do your thing. Step ups again for uh, Lindsay on that. Hers has been 17 first round, 20 on the second, 17 on the third. Do your thing, Lindsay. Long legs, proud of you. Carry uh, Mc, Mc something. Hey, okay. So here's the question. Mc something. Do we see Fee Sagafi just go balls to the wall this time? Is it, does this does she make this her best round? She's gonna try to. Right. I think. I think most you, snatches. Most snatches. No, no. No. I wouldn't be surprised if she did nine here. Did one less snatch again, and he then... was at nineteen step ups that time for uh, that last round you just saw. The great Jack Farlow in the house. Words from the man. Grip is a legitimate issue in this workout. Yeah, Jack, good to see you, buddy. him in that picture. He looks great. <laughs> 138 for Lindsay so far, 155 for Fee. Final round, people. 
snatches, row for calorie step ups, one minute of each, four rounds, one minute break in between. This is it. John John Young would be doing touch and go here. Yes, Stop. he would be. Final round. Why not? Why not? No. No, yes. not on the snatch. Yes. No. I think Bosby <laughs> pull in 2000, though. 85 pounds is nothing for John. I, I want to say Bosman said that everyone talk about how to push the crap out of the rower misinterprets the workout. And he wrote it, right? Mm -hmm. So that look at the difference. Between We've seen that. <laughs> When she drops the that bar, she does like a double step. Wow, feast stopping early again Think. at 35 seconds into that, that was, snatch round. That's surprising that in the last round. 10 reps. Oh, nine or 10. No, I, it's not it surprising. Is. She's going to try to hold this uh, 1350, maybe 1400 a little faster, maybe get one more cal, and then, um, if and she, then go it, all the way unbroken as, as hard as you can on the step ups. And that was I 10 think, snatches. I think she'll again send for it on the, she can only go, I think she can only go so hard on the row. I think well, oh, she's going to hold like, this. If it's 1400. It's getting loud now as these ladies head into this last row. You know what I mean, it's not going to be much of a send. This is harder than either of them have pulled any of the rounds. Definitely for fee. Fee's and Lindsay came out. This is actually the same pace she's been pulling the whole time. <laughs> it See? looks like it's harder. <laughs> uh, I've, I've been exactly right on this workout thus far, as far as how these ladies have gone. I realized 300 was outlandish, but other than that, he had a 1200 per hour pace. I'm giving Jeffrey his two dollars back. John, you keep making outlandish predictions. Okay, Fee's definitely picked it up now. She's at a 1450 pace. She's 15 calories in right now. And she's cruising. Matt Torres is in her ear big time. Yelling at her to pull harder, pull harder. 1450 holding strong. Yeah, or they're both going to have their best rows here. 22 for V that time. Oh, That's one more. Beat it by rows, one right? rep. Beat it by one rep. And then this is just whatever you got left. Yep. That's 19 calories for Lindsay on that row. And what was her best? Do we know? Stand by Gideon, best coverage in the CrossFit space. Even more accurate live scores in the games. Keep it up. Thanks, Gideon. Appreciate it. That was her best row by two calories. And she's already stopped at the 25-second mark. I wonder if it would be worth it not to push the row and keep it at the same pace that you were doing. And to be able to go on the... And try to at murder step the step-ups. Ups. Oh, yeah. Lindsay. You oh, can't do that, Lindsay. Smoked. Come on. Smoked. Well, she Only can, person who has empathy for you is Jack Farlow. Because if you think about it, Fee was rowing way harder and Ten had seconds. one more cal. Versus if you could speed these step ups up, you could get more than one. Oh, more. you can't, Lindsay. You can't. You can't. Lindsay. You can't. <laughs> no. Time. That is it for the ladies. So what is that? About one That's ten or nineteen ten? calories. I mean, nineteen step ups for uh, Fee on that set. Somewhere Where's Fee feeling this? Tens, Where's Fee like feeling this, uh, Bill? Lungs and grip. Two total for Lindsay. That was 13 step ups on her last round. Whew. That 13 is killer. Yeah. What's the temperature like in there? JR's got air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. If you get 302. <laughs> John, what would we talk about? Out, uh, about 206, 206 about? total for P. 206 total 206. for P. And uh, 182 total for Lindsay. V is in pain right now. She looks like she has that feeling where you just can't get the burn out of your legs. Yeah. That last step is just so ugly. <laughs> Man. Not that she was ugly when she was doing it. Just that, that, that one just burns really bad. 206 for Fee Sagafi. 182 for Lindsay Lane. We'll be right back. Every morning... We wake up knowing what's at stake. Freedom. Honor. Duty. This is more than a mission. It's the oath we took. It's the flag we wear on our sleeve and everything it stands for. You don't do it for money, glory, or fame. But for something deeper. It's for our families. For our freedom. For our way of life. To anyone who tries to take that away from us, good fucking luck. Forward! Forward! 
even when the mission is complete, training is never over. We are constantly honing our craft and sharpening our axe. That is the warrior mindset. This isn't just a brand to us. We're a part of these stories because we've lived these stories. And while we might have hung up the rifle and body armor one last time, our new mission is to outfit our nation's heroes with the best apparel on the planet. By the operator, for the operator. To those still standing on that wall, we salute you. The damn few. Born primitive tactical for those who defend. Use the code SAVAGE20. Get $20 off on all your purchases. Head over to the website. Great website. Great shoes. We all wear them. They're the best shoes. Wide toe box. You've heard it all before. It's the only shoe I wear. And we're back. Sort of. Now we're back. Look at that, framed up. Uh, we are looking at the interview table where we will have Lindsay Lane and Fisa Gaffey very soon at our uh, disposal. It will be great to speak to um, Lindsay and find out what was going on with the step ups. If that was just a, an error that probably lost yeah, her three to five reps. With you. Uh, Catherine, Catherine Schaefer, best coverage in the game. Thank you guys. Huge fan of Fee since watching the podcast with her. Taylor's going to win for the guys. Yeah. Hey, uh, before we say that, she did end up falling apart on that last set of step ups. So maybe she knew something. Oh, okay. Meaning her grip was really fatigued. Right. So maybe she was stopping early, and if she hadn't done that, she wouldn't have done anything on the last round. I think she would have been better off if she stopped in the middle from the first set. Be sure to tell her that. Or not get on the dumbbells so fast. Yeah. Let your Wait hands five chill seconds out and the, then yeah. go on the dumbbells. You could get totally. an extra cow on the row or just chilling. Yep. Uh, Greg C., uh, Andrew Hiller, have you been blown away by anything you've seen yet at Bill Leahy's house? Um, yes. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Like, like performance wise, you've seen some, like he's impressed you. Yes. Wow. Okay. He's been exactly. all right. I don't, I don't know about impressive. You don't know anything. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, we do. Oh, I know. Oh, yes, yeah. we do. Right. Right. Okay, so we're going to be, uh, hearing from the ladies pretty soon, but I just spoke with Lindsay's husband, husband, Andy, to figure out what the strategy was there. And he basically said they used that first round as a gauge and they stopped everything at about 50 seconds. So that way they could mitigate her rest. They knew going into this, uh, that grip was going to be a big factor for her on the uh, dumbbells. And also to, I asked, I said, was she able to hook grip the dumbbell? And he said, no, that was something that they knew was going to be an issue because her hands are too small to get all the way around it. Hmm. So okay. they had that game plan coming in and that, that's kind of why you saw her stopping a little bit early. Same with the row. He said that as a female in the rower, they knew like if she's got th three to five seconds left and the calorie just turned over, she's not going to be able to pull another calorie. So at that point, just get off and get ready for the uh, dumbbell. So that was kind of the strategy behind how they went into this uh, workout today. Uh, Fisa Gaffey is talking to Dallin Pepper, uh, sharing some tips with him from what she learned from doing the workout. What is the weight on the women's dumbbells? 35s. So it's 70 pound step ups. Yeah. To a Dallin broke his arm. To a 20. <laughs> you thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> just a little floss band. To a 20 inch box. Not a cap. Uh, Sousa, are we going to get a chance to uh, talk to Lindsay and Fee? He just walked away, but yes, I think so. Uh, that's uh, M Micah Schumacher in the foreground, host of the Brute Strength podcast. He's got a really locked out knee. Look at that thing. That's, uh, that poses in the art world. That's called contrapasta. Is that right? Yes, con contrapasta. <laughs> I mean, the steel torres is kind of flexible. They call that pose something else some other places. He doesn't uh, have full extension, Torres, and Met uh, Shoemaker's knee is quite locked out. It's to give the illusion that the statue Micah. actually has movement in it. What did I say? I said Misha? No, Hiller said Matt. Uh, I did not say, no, Matt Torres. Oh, I'm comparing oh. the lockout of their knees. When Micah stands like that, his name changes to Misha. <laughs> I stand like that sometimes. <laughs> Your name would stand change to, uh, I don't know, I'll come up with something. Andrea. <laughs> All right. Uh, the wor third workout is over. It is uh, Friday morning. The girls have uh, one workout left to go. For those of you who are sensitive to the word girls, the women have one workout to go. He is so tiny. <laughs> and uh, and then the boys will be coming up uh, next later on today. We will be doing that on a separate stream. 
I have been screwing up the times and I apologize. Uh, the boys, uh, the boys broadcast goes live in 45 minutes. We will get an interview here with uh, Fee and Lindsay Lane. And we will grill Lindsay on her uh, fin stopping the box jumps a few seconds before the actual one minute rest came into play. Uh, any insights, uh, John, after watching the girls do it on um, how this is going to play out for the boys? Um, not really. It'll be similar, um, but not really. It's such a different oh, workout for that. Great, great, powerful answer. Provocative. Just, Thank just you, John. More, more cows. What's up, team? Oh, What's I up? love being able to see you guys. What's up, girl? Oh, nice. That's step cool. up. Step up. Were you blind point. or something? Do my forearms look humongous? Bigger than your style. <laughs> your smile looks humongous. Oh, thank you. I'm smiling because I'm done with that workout. Um, oh. let, let's if there was a workout I was nervous for, I think it was also that one. And why is that? Um, it wasn't for any other reason other than like you have to hurt. Like you have to be strategic, you know, but when it comes to the machine part of it, you got to hurt. And that's one where I'm not scared of that, but it's, you know, it's uncomfortable. It's going to be uncomfortable just about the, every time on the row. We so were every really time on the road, was rowing. Thank you. Were you guys able to see my paces at all? 1350. We could hear it. Yeah. 1450, Hell girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we've been working. You know what's funny? Um, you guys obviously know that I trained with Scott Panchik for many years. Um, I was a coach at the affiliate and eventually built my way into the sport through hit under his wing and so all we did i always like i laugh at it like all we did was an og crossfit truly and you guys know what i'm talking about but all the met cons all the volume and that's exactly kind of what this weekend is and the open is so matt's like my coach he's like we enjoy these weekends because you're never doing these in training you don't get to do <laughs> crossfit in training <laughs> oh but, oh no crossfit in training no. <laughs> oh, Rich would love that answer. Oh, right. can't, wait. <laughs> can't, can't wait to dig into No, that. like, no, uh, you know, original uh, We know, crossing. we know, we you know. know, know. We got you. Yeah. We got you. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay Lane, what's up, girl? Thanks for putting on a show for us. Good morning. Uh oh, the mic didn't work. I think oh, something, Lindsay, I think something's wrong with your mic. Uh, uh, Fee, don't scoot over so far that you fall out of the camera. Fee, stay in there, please. Oh, isn't this way? That's that's that's. Ah, okay. Just move Lindsay over I, just a little bit, and then we we'll got get you now. Perfectly centered. Uh, Lindsay, everybody wants to know why ah, is it, it is. that you were stopping oh, too early on all your step ups? What's what, what is going early? on? Yeah. Uh, I was trying to save my grip a little bit. Um, I just felt it starting to blow up, and maybe I could have kept going a little bit, but I was just worried to getting to the like failure point and not being able to come back from it. So why take the rest at the end though, and not in between the row and the step? Or, or did you think about breaking it up or in during. the beginning? Yeah, that's a that's a great plan, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Where were you? The next more? time you decide to go and do it, yeah. <laughs> they say it like it's so yeah. easy, huh? Lindsay, I can't wait to watch you. Oh, Lindsay, listen, I'm Lindsay, gonna be trash. Don't worry. But Lindsay, here's okay. here's Lindsay. Let me explain it in detail. So so basically, you, you would start stepping up on the box. And then after the box, you got the one minute uh, obligatory rest. But we would see you stop at 58 seconds. So we were always no, thinking, oh, seconds. she could have got one or two more reps right there. And then you yeah. get, do get to rest. And so and so we just found that strategy just a little. We, were, we couldn't get our heads wrapped around it. No, that's a fair point. I wasn't facing the camera or sorry, the clock. Um, so I don't know. Uh, next time I do it, though, I'll. I'll do that, guys. Well, and you were really aggressive. I mean, especially compared to Fee with your snaps as well. Like, uh, Fee was coming off at like 35 seconds, 40 seconds at the latest. And you kind of ran that whole minute out. Were you trying to maximize the snatch or was that like, where was your strategy on that? Mm -hmm. I wanted to like stay pretty controlled on the snatch, like not go crazy on it. And then give myself enough time to transition to the row. But the row is definitely not my strongest. Mm -hmm. um, so... I wanted to get what I could on the snatch and then try to stay consistent on the row. Uh, Fee, and how about you? In, in hindsight, do you do you think that maybe you came off the snatch too early, that maybe you could have gotten one more each time? I mean, you came off really early. Yeah, I kind of. Um, so going into this event, we had 
very strategic plan. Like with Matt, you guys already know him. He is like strategy, science, all of it. Um, so before this event, we were like, we are going to hit between, you know, 10 and, you know, 10 and 12 reps. Whether you get it off be just before the minute or well before the minute, you're stopping at 10, 11, or 12, like no more than 12. Um, and so as soon as I hit whatever I hit on the first one, he's like, you're good, rest. Like he gave me that, like, no more. He cut it off. It was, if it was up to me, I'd probably be doing it up until the minute. Like most, pro most people are probably doing that. They're taking advantage of those quicker reps. And I went into this event knowing that, like, I have to push the row. Um, because if I start to slow down on the snatches, then I'm still trying to fight for those 10 to 12 reps, but maybe that's giving me less rest. I'm way more exhausted. My grip is blowing up. So yeah, that was the strategy. And then on the step ups, my strategy was like, your hands will not come off of, like you will die before the dumbbells get out of your hands. Cause that, you know, even just a break is just another rep. Um, unless you're just truly getting to failure, but I well, think the, everything for me went to plan today. The mm -hmm. the great the great thing was is that you were working really hard for two minutes, mm -hmm. and then you basically gave yourself not just a minute rest; it was already seconds. built in there, but like a minute and thirty seconds. So that really, I mean, that completely changes the workout because if you really had to send three minutes and only mm -hmm. rest one, totally different workout, totally different result. I think uh, mentally, I mentally, I feel like it's totally different. If you're like, I just have to work hard for two minutes. I mean, yeah. that sounds then, easy. Anyone yes. can go, oh, I can do it for two minutes. Yeah, it's technically you're right. Like I really didn't work for three consecutive minutes. I was like right. two and a half. And when you, it's almost like you kind of emom it, you know, um, at least a little bit, just like that, where you're trying to get a certain that's, amount of reps. That's what the under. workout is. It is an emom. That's really an emom. <laughs> it's like emoms are fun. I'll do emoms as forever. And um, you're kind of trying to beat the clock on this one. Um, on the row, you're trying to get it like you're trying to, you're working through the whole minute. The row is very, very important on the step ups. You're just like one consistent pace. It's not like, you know, a burpee where you could start slow, maybe get fast towards the very end. A step up is just like, it's a rope climb. Like you can't even like get that much faster unless you're putting it down. So with, with this one compared to the other events so far where you can kind of watch what the other athletes are doing, like between you two, especially, um, were you way more in your lane on this one or did you at all get to see or even look at what the other athlete or listen to what either each other was uh, getting rep wise? I was in my lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really, it's, uh, we were facing, we were right next to each other. You guys saw on the snatches. I feel like we could see each other out of peripheral when I was, you know, but I wasn't like, oh, she got 12 reps and I only got 10. You know, I, I did it like we either, like both of us today were very much in our lane. We were rowing. I didn't look anywhere else other than like my monitor while we were stepping up. I knew Lindsay was getting a rep ahead because she would get off the row and onto the box just a, a rep sooner. And that's when I would chalk. So I was chalking. Chalk? I did. I had like my chalk right on my box. <laughs> and Sevan was very critical of that. He, was, <laughs> you know, that's yeah, he, he was like, Come she's on. retarded for chalking right well, now. I mean, he, she's she's so so word word. Word. High end athlete there. So. That's so interesting. Did you get me on sitting? I was like, Colton doesn't sit, but I sit because I'm weaker than Colton. <laughs> Lin I'll Lindsay, take it. <laughs> Lin Lindsay Lane, uh, I can't thank yes. you enough for doing this. I want to say Thanks. that uh, world-class athletes have world-class transitions. The best people in the world, when you watch the games, win events on transitions. We saw it with Justin Majerus and Colton Mertens in the open that Justin beat him on transitions. You attack the box like no other. It was amazing. You literally came off the rower and grabbed the dumbbells. I was so impressed. It may it, Whether it, it's a good strategy or not strategy, at the end of the day, if you're going to be the best in the world, your transitions are going to have to be like that. I want to ask you this. You won the Crash Crucible with a lot of stiff competition. No transitions. Yeah. Now, yeah, no transitions. You were a superstar there. Uh, now, now here you are facing uh, a bona fide, uh, you know, top forty fittest woman in the world, uh, in Fisa Gaffi. There's thousands of people watching. How is this experience compared to the uh, Crash Crucible? Yeah, it's a little different, obviously, because you have like a week or two to have the workouts and kind of prepare for them. Um, and then also, Fee is like, there's levels to this, right? Like you said, the top 40 in the world, multiple times games athlete. So honestly, I'm just really happy for the opportunities to like 
go against you, see what that next level kind of looks like, um, and just learn a lot. You know, it's definitely an opportunity you don't get all the time. Okay, so, so that's the textbook answer, but now tell me how you really feel. Dude, Are I you... feel like I got thrown into the lion's den. <laughs> there, <laughs> there we go. Did she know, did she know about the Glenn podcast, Savon? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you guys, uh, um, oh, so uh, I also, um, we have uh, Corey Pueblo, by the way, uh, Lindsay. Oh, and oh what? Corey, Corey Pueblo, he's a listener of the podcast. He has a oh. company called Proven Business Plans. And he has put up five hundred dollars for second place, so it's a thousand dollars for the winner. <laughs> it's a thousand dollars for the winner from the Thank Glinton you. podcast, uh, from Garrett Glinton uh, and Colleen, and then uh, five hundred dollars from Corey Pueblo from Proven <gasps> Business Plans. Wow! Oh, Thank Corey. you, Corey. Um, we appreciate you. Yeah. yeah, the ladies. I know the guys get like five thousand dollars, but <laughs> we're here. We'll do this without a paycheck. This we sexist don't need podcast. To um, uh, <laughs> Lindsay, so tell me this. Tell me about when you were asked to do this. Uh, can you tell me that story? Jr. calls you or texts you, and and, and and did you accept right away? I think or he what was? DM'd me on Instagram, which is weird because yeah, he has my that number. is weird. Oh yeah, <laughs> very weird. Jr. is weird. Jr. is weird. Jr. is weird. Yeah. Instagram is like the new way of uh, communicating with people now. Yeah. That's how you know he's serious is when he DMs mm -hmm. you. He's just I'll check Instagram he's before I check my text. <laughs> yeah, he messaged me and was like, "Hey, do you want to do quarters with me?" And I was like. At first, he made it sound like it was going to be virtual. And I was like, what, is she going to be on the computer next to me while I do it? Um, um, but then I, I, he, been... I know, I was like, what? Uh, but then he explained that she was coming in person. I was like, okay, let's do it. It was and a very your, easy yes for yeah. me. And your husband and your husband was cool with that, too? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, you're, you're doing a, a putting on a tremendous show, and it's great. Um, uh, Fee... And Lindsay, yesterday when we spoke to Taylor, Taylor said that um, he learned more about the workouts watching you two do them and that Ooh. that was a huge advantage for him. And, and I yeah. see that he came early today to watch you. Do you think that that, that would have been an advantage for you guys if you could have seen someone go first? I think it sometimes it's different with the boys. Yeah. It depends on the workout. Um, I think maybe the first one yesterday, watching them go first would have been helpful. Yeah. I, I learn a lot from not watching other people have amazing events. I learn a lot from seeing what didn't work and like their mess ups, um, maybe how fast they came out and how it burnt them out at the end. So when I watch and I learn from someone, um, I get to train with Dallin and alongside each other. And even though we're not training, exactly the same training pieces we still learn a lot from like i did this training piece and this worked and this was successful or not successful so to to your question um watching anyone go before us to just see their mistakes and then you're like oh well not doing that not holding on to the first 10 reps of the 85 pound barbell like yes, things like that um you learn a lot from people's mistakes not their you know amazing moments all the time uh fantastic work ladies any more questions gentlemen yeah, what's the likelihood someone gets 300 reps? 270. Oh, my God. Wait, I don't even know what I got. Do you know what you got? You oh, it's right. oh, it's right there. You're 206. What's the chance someone gets what? You're what, did you get, what did you get, Fee? What did you get, Fee? Don Young thinks that 300 reps. The in, in the whole world, in so. the whole world, the number is oh, yeah. 270. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What? Oh, my God. I know there were guys like rowing almost 40 calories. Just throwing that out there. I don't know who, but I've heard some oh, birdies you know. told me. You know well, <laughs> Sprague, Sprague did not make 270. Um, uh, how do you know that? I, I know stuff, girl. I got stuff. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> knows everything. You somehow knew like Bill's score. I didn't even know it. Well, Fee, no, what did you get? What was your score, Fee? Mm, 206. And what was your score, Lindsay? Uh, 182. And any chance that either of you would do this again? Not after work. I'm not. Two. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, Lindsay's thinking I only about it. Look at that. Like that. <laughs> I got I to redo three. So no, I, don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Probably not. Just know you'll do better when you redo. Yeah. That's for and, sure. and, and Lindsay, are the goal, are your goals to go to semifinals? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> you're going to go. And, you're and, gone. She's gone. And so you're, so you're putting a lot of work. That is what you do. You, you have intentions. You do CrossFit in order to, one of the reasons you do it is to, to see how far you can go on the competition side. Yeah, I've never, I went to semifinals last year on a team, but obviously it's so different. Um, and I've never been by myself. Um, and I wasn't doing CrossFit when regionals were a thing. So I would like to make it. That would be really cool. But this year it is 40, which is a little tight. Um, 
but we'll see what happens. You uh, you have it. You know you could tell someone if someone has the spark. Oh, Lindsay's got the spark. Awesome. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. Appreciate having you on. Thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow uh, is going to be very. Oh, let, let me get your thoughts on Come tomorrow. On. Tomorrow is going to be very interesting. Do you guys? Uh, oh. You guys have any thoughts about tomorrow, Lindsay? Any thoughts about tomorrow? I'm glad the wall ball targets to a nine. Yes. Mm -hmm. I did a last chance qualifier a couple years ago. Do you guys remember? It was like three rounds for time, 40 burpee box jump over 75 dubs, and like I think 50 wall balls to a 10 foot target. And I, I'm convinced they took inspo from that because it was jumping wall balls for every round. Even the the yeah. boys are like, oh, it's the same thing. I'm like, you throw to uh -oh. 11. You throw that 30 pound ball to the 11 and tell me how it goes. Is it what's Trying the way to of the ball tomorrow? Fun. What's the weight of the ball tomorrow? 20? 14. 14. 14 oh, to 14, 9 14, okay. Foot. Right, okay. Yeah. Look at No thought. Just kind of go dark yeah. for three rounds. Yeah, and that's it. Dark. Awesome. All right. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Lisa Bye. Goffey, Lindsay Lane uh, just finished the third workout on the Born Primitive okay. Taylor Self versus the World. Lisa Goffey, handily. If we if we were In to step place, out of the picture, they would sit there and just chit chat amongst themselves. It is They're such so a funny. different vibe than totally. versus the boys. <laughs> the boys were chit chatting, kind of. No, it's so different though. It was funny. The the boys, yeah, the boys, the boys were chit chatting. Col it's Colton can't stand those interviews. He he wants to leave immediately. Did you guys see the footage of Colton and Jason uh, wrestling uh, afterwards? Yeah. No. Well, I saw I saw Jason getting beat down. That's what I saw. Uh, I'll pull that up for you right now. Oh, Bill Bill will love it. I will love this. Bill's going to see him trying to work things in. Like, because, you know, he's he's trying to do things while they're just kind of laying down together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Hopper good, doesn't good know what's going on. Good on Jason for posting this. Okay, here we go. This <laughs> is after the event, after that tense exchange. Uh, it, it appears that uh, Jason was stretching and Colton came over and paid him a visit. <laughs> Look at pool boy. Look at pool boy's comment. Jason, what'd you say? Say it again. Oh, what'd you say? Rolling the wrist there. <laughs> trying to get the wing <laughs> arm on the like back. Little arm working. bar. I was stretching and he didn't... Uh -huh. That arm bar on the back. Oh, oh, there it is. And then, and then he keeps going. And then he keeps going. He, he, keeps going. he doesn't he stop. Mercy. Oh. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Jason's tapping so like it's MMA. Colton's like, I don't do MMA. Yeah, I yeah. 100%. <laughs> he's there's like, no, what are you pounding no the ground tap out. <laughs> Don't touch my back like that. Hey, Bill, in, in all seriousness, is that okay to put his hand behind his back like that? Oh, yeah. Totally. Professional yeah. Athlete. Take that wing, wing. Take that arm out. Oh, yeah, for sure. But even, even a professional athlete like that, no, no chance he could have accidentally hurt Hopper? Nah, no. he's not going to hurt him. It's not like an arm bar. Like no, it's, I mean, it's, oh, dude, you crank on that thing, and that thing can get something weird could happen. Right, wrestling nah. in UFC are right wildly there, different, good. though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stephen Fisher, uh, to support the cause, thank you, dude. Every dollar counts. Thank you, uh, greatly appreciate it. I don't see uh, Pool Boys, um, comment. Um, no, it said it that was... it was so incredibly gay, and he wants in. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. I desperately want in. Fair enough. I think Colton's uh, much obliged. For fifty bucks, he'll roll any man from. He's supposed uh, to wrestle Tyler in oil. Who what? Colton? Yeah, Tyler lost a bet, and he's got to wrestle with Colton. Oh, I have a God. feeling when Colton yeah. grabs you, he feels like he weighs four hundred pounds. Oh, I was just gonna say, look how like Jason is so much bigger than Colton, and in that picture right there, Colton looks thick. He looks just massive compared to Jason. Well, you like you thickness wise, like you like like I like to think of it as ten pounds an inch in height. So like if Colton is one ninety, and he's six nuts. inches shorter, it would it would be like me being um, two fifty. <laughs> like that's what that's what it would be like. Uh, uh, Iron Hog. I would not like my arm put behind my back like that. I'm looking for someone said. I, someone said, uh, look at T Lander's comment. I'm trying to see if I can find what he wrote. It's so funny. Everyone always talks about, like, with wrestlers, like, oh, I, I don't want to touch another man. Like, like dude, he's rouge. This, there's no, like, hug and love that's going on during during that kind of stuff. Dude, I'm trying to hurt you. You don't think was, uh, Colton's uh, chubbed up a little bit? Hell no. I mean, if, <laughs> and if he is, it's not because of sexual. It's because he's ripping the shit out of Jason and turning him to his back like he's a little rag doll. Oh, Merton says he, camera missed my sick ass takedown. So maybe he wasn't on the Bill, ground already. Bill, you'll get a kick out of this. Uh, so, like, when I, I was 
played basketball in high school, football uh-huh. and basketball. And uh, the the wrestling coach wanted me to wrestle so bad because I, you know, I was very strong yeah. and I was in small. And um, and I, I was married. I was I was thinking about it. I was thinking I probably could had a better shot at college with wrestling because I think I'd be good at wrestling. And then um, and then right when I was considering it, the whole entire wrestling team got herpes. What? Uh, like like uh, Matt, like Matt herpes. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like staff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like, like yeah. we're you know I'm in high school, right? So everybody's just thinking they're all just effing each other, and that's oh how they all God. got herpes, right? I'm I'm kidding with that, but like <laughs> like 50 percent of the team got herpes, and I was like, nope, never doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was like, it was so funny in my head. All my years of wrestling, 25 years or whatever, never got herpes from wrestling. Uh, I, uh, Heidi Kroom, oh, Tillander's yeah. comment that's unsettling <laughs> that Colton didn't stop when he tapped. Yeah. Hey, listen, for those of us who watch MMA, for those of us who are in that scene, uh, I watch jiu-jitsu every single day. Uh, a tap, when someone taps, you let him go. And so, uh, and Tillander's a jiu-jitsu guy. And uh, I, I totally, I totally understand where he's coming from. Uh, Colton knows uh, what he's doing. He kept the arm parallel at totally. 90. No higher. Uh, Jason uh, should be fine. Yeah, but Jason's got to trust him for that. But listen, this is from the same guy who thought that there shouldn't have been a max deadlift at the uh, Rogue uh, Invitational. So who I said little, that. I said oh, that. You, you, so you, I got, you, so you, I got yeah. a little pussy in me. Yes, what, what you, you and Till Lander. Yeah, he what, apparently. What, what, what can I say? <laughs> you would delete your comment too, apparently. Um, I know I would not delete my comment. Hey, Hopper deleted my comment. I, I would go hard. Uh, oh, he did comment. delete your comment? Uh, he deleted the post shortly after. Uh, what was the post? I, it was just a post of him making fun of the other guys. Um, and then uh, I think I said something like, what place did you get out of the games again? I don't remember seeing you. <laughs> and then um, and, and then he deleted the comment and then deleted the whole post. And I'm oh, like, come oh, on. I would have <laughs> never picked you as somebody that does that. And and then, and then we had like a 10-minute conversation about how if my comment was lame or not. It was the stupidest thing in the world. But hey, What are the things that you guys think are unsettling? Because that's just a weird word. If Heidi is using the correct word, that's unsettling that he didn't stop. Mm, when he, yeah, I, I wouldn't mean, have used that word. I would, I would have say said it's a dick move. It's like if I walked out of this room right now and somebody was bent over with their butthole in the air, but that was unsettling. Yeah. That's unsettling. <laughs> that yes. would be a little unsettling. Taylor's human centipede post was unsettling. Unsettling. Yeah, yeah, that's unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> but he, him, him not but tapping, he, it's like, no, nah, unsettling is not the right dude, word. Dude, and he does look like a Nazi, man. I know we made fun of it in the chat and he didn't like it. No Nazi he talk on so this He so does look like one in that context. God, didn't you hear him? No Nazi talk. I'm sorry. Hey, but listen, their mouths aren't even <laughs> lined up. With bring their, it up. <laughs> listen, their mouths aren't even lined up with their buttholes. Taylor's the one that's unsettling in the photo. <laughs> yeah, his head. Yeah, because you know that he's the one that sewed everyone's faces to asses right there. That's why <laughs> he's the doctor with the needle. I love that he put Jason last, though. Hey, I love how big Gallon's <laughs> head is. Still here? Can we create a poll? Who's seen this movie? <laughs> Oh my oh god! God, I've, I've seen all three. The last one's nuts. Where they connect the entire prison. It's stupid. It's stupid though. Like they. It's, it's not stupid. It's dumb. No, uh, it's not. The third one. I'm saying the third one was a dumb movie. No, it's not. I think it is. Ladies it's and gentlemen, if you would, so. the caterpillar, you would like the human see, caterpillar, was unsettling. <laughs> if you would like to see these athletes go head to head. If you would like to see them go head head, head to ass in, instead of pull the hole, if you'd love to see them go head to head, uh, here are the QR codes. Get your tickets now. West Coast Classic. I will be there filming the behind the scenes. JR will be there. Taylor will be there doing a Games Day live uh, podcast like we did at Wadapalooza this year. It's the North America West semifinal in Carson from May 24th to the 26th. If you've never been to Carson tennis Stadium, you sh- yeah. Thank you, Bill. You yeah. need to go to the go there to the tennis stadium. And then the week after, for those of you who want to see the greatest CrossFitter who's ever lived compete, Tia Tumi Ur, she will be there trying to make her, I don't know, seventh appearance at the CrossFit Games. Um, or may- maybe she's had more appearances heading towards her seventh win at the CrossFit Games and what's going to be an amazing showdown between her and Laura Horvat. Uh, the North America East semifinal in Knoxville, Tennessee, May 31st to June 2nd. The tennis stadium is something special.
I can't wait to see you all there. Tracy Hefner, this shit is getting way too professional. Right. Need to mess something up on occasion, <laughs> fellas, to keep the rep up. Listen, uh, Hiller purposely got uh, in front of those bunk beds to try to uh, dumb down the show. Uh, Yawn right. Clark from across the pond. You guys are the best. At least three of us are. I'll let you pick which one of us isn't. Um, and uh, Andrew is going to take the helm for that. Um, we will be back in, uh, I don't know, about 19 minutes. We'll be on a different stream. Uh, Matt Souza will go live on the Seven Podcast Instagram to uh, rally the troops. Uh, please don't forget the Paper Street Coffee is having 40% off. Use code word Sevon. That will only be live while the shows are live. It would be great to absolutely make uh, Gabe Maldonado over at Paper Street regret giving you guys such a great deal. Also, uh, if you want to support the show and you want the best shoes, you should head over to the Born Primitive site and get the Savage Ones. They have tons of great other great clothes. It is the shoe. It's the shoe that Hiller wears, John Young wears, I wear. Um, it is... It's an it's shoe. absolutely awesome shoe. You'll be stoked every time you put them on. You'll be excited you have them. If you haven't been excited about a pair of shoes in a long time, uh, those are the shoes to get. Uh, Brill Grundler, will you be back with us in 19 minutes? I will be here. Mr. Young? Yes, sir. Andrew Hiller? Guys, it is going to be a fucking world-class beatdown. Let's celebrate it all together. Love you guys. See you soon. Uh, J.R. Howell, thank you. Executive producer of the Sevon Podcast. Matt Souza, thank you. Will Brandstetter, the god of live streaming. Thank you. Kayla Beaver. What a G coming live from the Shattuckin after serving our country. And um, Tyler, Tyler Watkins, he won app. Go wad. Thank you. Patrick Rios for the uh, great uh, back end support. Back end support. He's been making uh, Instagram stuff. Instagram, Instagram. <laughs> back to the human about. caterpillar. I don't know how that keeps coming up. In Instagram stuff. Uh, who else? Do, who else? Yeah, back end support boy. <laughs> And also, I have to tell you guys this. If you want to know how Taylor does this, how a guy who a couple years ago got smashed by a pig is now putting it to the best in the world, make sure you check out Sentinel Training. Talk to you guys soon.